Um, so this is with Dogwood Paper Arts and I am Angela Toma and I wanted to get together with you and show you my new papers. So here we go. This is the first set. This is from pack number one and these are original um, paintings that I did using acrylic pores. Um, Anyway, I wanted to just share them with you and let you know that I put them on my Etsy site. And my Etsy site is Dogwood Paper Arts. So I'm wondering what to make with these. Here's the first one. Some of these are from the same painting, but different areas of it. Or expanded areas of it that I wanted to look at more closely. And I decided to um, photograph them and turn them into digitals. So here's this one. This one is a different one. Look at the pretty colors in them. Man. This makes me want to get out my paints again. Here's another one. And they come in packs of 12 sheets of paper. Uh, it, like I said, they are digital, so you download your own. And here's this one. So that is pack number one. I uh, tried to load them up in packs of 20, but you can only download so many at a time, or you can only put so many, um, <laughs> I can't think of what I want to say, um, so many, um, you can only upload so many megabytes. And I think it was said to be below 20, so um, in order to keep them in that category, I could, and you can only upload five at a time, five of the zip disks. So, anyway, packs of 12. This is my second pack that comes with, that is included in pack one. And here's this one. This one has a lot of blues in it and uh, some yellows. Oh, let's see. Let's go this way. And here's this one. So what could we use this for? Well, I figure we can use them for tags pockets, albums. I have picked out a um, blue paper to use with some of these blue ones, just a solid blue, because these are just, there's so much color in them. You could use them for mini albums or junk journals. And here's this one. Um, you are welcome to use them in your uh, albums that you sell. But you, of course, you know, being digital, you're not allowed to resell them or to send them off to somebody else after you buy them. And you can't upload them as digital items. So that's pack number one. Here is pack two. And it's the same, comes with 12 papers total. Now this one is um, a different painting than the, that's in the other pack. They look very similar, but they are different paintings. The interesting thing about these pore paintings is, is that, look at that color in there, it's like lava. 
is that you'll see things in them that are, um, you'll pick up pictures in them and stuff. Isn't that beautiful? I've got some very, very pretty colors in them. And here is a purple one. This is actually more purple than, than pink. It shows up more purple in the camera. But this was a long painting. And so this is two ends of it. And then this one was lighter. Um, a lot of times you can see the canvas in them, like right here. It's uh, the canvas, even though I just sewed like crazy. So there's that one. And then here is this one. It's another pack of six, but um, the... Uh, Packs are for sale in packs of two, so you get a full 12 sheets. And let's see. This one is hanging in an art studio in town, this way. And it, in town, it looks like a lady. Right here. A lady inside of a tree, but here it doesn't look like that. And then we have this one. And then we have this bright red one. This is a very bright pack. It looks orange there, but it is mostly reds. And here is an orange one. And this is in another blue one that I did, blue and green. So aren't those just beautiful? So, anyway, I just wanted to share those with you and let you know that I had them and um, you can find them at my Etsy site listed below if you're interested. And um, I think maybe we'll design something with some of these. Um, maybe a mini album or a junk journal. I haven't quite decided yet. So this is uh, pack two and you get 12 papers. There's six of them and here's the other six that come in this pack. And in pack one, you get these six. Most of my paintings are sold. I, um, <laughs> I don't know if I have any left here at all. I might have a couple. But anyway, that's it for today. I did think that I might use this paper. This is by Country Craft Creations and it is Artisan Carbon.
cardstock. And this is the deep navy blue. I thought this might look good with some of this. Have a look. Oh yeah. I think it will look good with this um, to make a quick album with. Especially this uh, this pack one. I think we'll make a little mini album. So, gosh, makes me want to get right to work. Those match it quite well too. And of course you could use um, any color, you know, that you like. But even with the yellow and oranges, it's still it's still matching quite well. It's because um, I always put purple in my paints. Um, there's purple in everything. If you really look, you can see the hue of purple in almost everything you kind of view. There's an eye. Yeah, these will go fine with this color. So, I wonder what kind of mini album we'll end up making with it. Hmm, should I make a mini or a junk journal? Well, since I can print them, I can print out two. And I can make two different packets, two different items. Or I can make as many as I want. But um, Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll make a mini album with them. And see what I come up with. So that means I have 24 sheets of paper. Plus my um, cardstock. And if I sent these back through the printer and printed on the back side, they'd be double-sided. Now, I printed mine out on um, Epson presentation paper. It's a matte paper. So they're pretty heavy-duty. And uh, it's nice, nice paper. I haven't sliced it up yet or anything, but um, we'll see how it goes. So, oh yeah, that'll look nice with that blue background. Probably look good with the black background, too. So anyway, uh, there'll be some sort of album coming up being done with my own papers this time. That's exciting news for me. So I hope it's exciting for you. Anyway, stop by Dogwood Paper Arts and take a look and see if you might be interested in them. I um, have more stuff coming out all the time. I have a lot of things to scan, and now that I've got my printer finally and scanner finally back and hooked up and everything's running, uh, it will be a lot better. <laughs> I can get back to doing all the things I love to do. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you'll take a look at these. Bye-bye for now.